Okay, this is Yadidia. Uh, Yadidia is an American citizen. He's not Israeli and he's been held against his will with a no exit order for 16 months. Um, Yadidia um, is being held to ransom uh, here for an enormous amount of child support. He's fighting for his freedom and he can only see his little boy in what they call a Merkaz Kesha or a, a contact center here. And now uh, the violation of his human rights continues as they demand uh, a psychiatric assessment to see if he's dangerous in the hour that he spends in supervised visitations. You did hear, what does it feel like to be hostage in Israel? I feel that as as a Jew, all my dreams have been crushed down. I I remember the prayers with my family and taking the Sidu and praying for the peace of Jerusalem, praying towards Israel. I would never imagine that the very place that our heart and souls connected is the very same place that can destroy you. You just learned that there's a government warning on the American travel page that warns Americans not to come if they get caught in domestic affairs. Did, did you know that before you came? I was not aware of that before. Were you just thinking, it's Israel? It's Israel. It's I would never, prior, I've been fighting for my parental rights of my son for the last, actually, nearly five years, he's five years old, I wasn't even put on his uh, birth certificate under the allegations that he that I was not an Israeli. I have to bring my ex-wife to court to put my name on the child birth certificate. And according to family laws here, once you are the father, then you're liable for every shekel since the day he was born, yeah? Exactly. What's happened. So what would you... What do you want to tell the Americans here? What, uh, you need some help here because you're, you're American and you can't work. You have no visa. I'm an American citizen. I serve honorably in the United States Coast Guard. I am highly educated. I am homeless here. I sleep from couch to couch under the mercy of people. There were times that I slept on the bus station sipping a coffee for 24 hours at McDonald's so they don't kick me out. Uh, I have slept on random places on the street until people and friends knew about it because I was ashamed to share with my friends in Israel. And since then, people have been very gracious to let me sleep in their couches. And, but it's, a, it's an agony because one month you're in one place, few weeks you're in one place, then you need to move, then you need to go there. And uh, I only see my child for two hours on Sundays in the same place that I had been seeing him for the last four and a half years. Uh, a few months ago, a judge determined that I can see my son outside the supervised place. Sadly, I knew about it really late, and my ass went to, to file again to the court saying that I would put my child in danger, that I'm a dangerous man, that I can do this and that to the child, and things that I don't even know. Explain to people in America this business of false claims. You, you know, every every man in America who's divorced, they don't they complain. Yeah. Um, how criti How dangerous is it here to get divorced and have claims? You get divorced in Israel. I would say 90% men, 95 or 98% of men that get divorced here, the life get completely destroyed. Everything you build from within is completely thrown to trash. It's a money maker. You divorce an Israeli woman here and tactically she's rewarded with whatever she wants. And you will never see your child again. What about social workers? They call it in Hebrew the Rebbecha, uh, the welfare here. How much power have they got right now over your life? They have every power over my life, as my ex wife have every power. She put a stop actually. I've been stuck here for a, a year and a half. No right to work, not even a visa. 
I am treated worse than a Palestinian can be treated and I am a US citizen and I am a Jew that I'm supposed to have the right to be here I asked the Minister of Interior to give me a work permit so I can support myself and pay back the, the supposed child support that I owe the alleged child support and yeah. they deny me the right to work so this country is denying you the right to leave denying you the right to work uh, demanding psychiatric assessments for all of this and, and they have no proof of anything and by the way I was under an abusive marriage she abused me verbally physically mentally she and her community that is a cult actually and for several years I was abused under them I got back into the United States because they deny me the right to be a citizen to live here so I had to go back and fighting for the right to be a father to my child and at the same time I entered into a deep 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 depression when I couldn't work I was trying really hard to finish my education and fight an international child adoption and at the same time uh, the government of the United States was supporting me and the community back in New York were helping me to pay for my expenses like food transportation while I was finishing my, my schooling. I have a new little job every now and then and whatever I would make I would send it to my ex-wife. And but the child support that I had to pay is beyond the child the child support that you have to pay right now is very high. Or it's very high. It's around just under two thousand dollars for, for just one, one child. child that you can't see, you can't that take I to can the peach, you can't buy him ice cream, nothing. you can't hold him, you can't nothing. sleep with him, and wake up with him and dress him. Just under two thousand dollars with no job, no home, and no freedom. No freedom. What What would you tell the people in America who are planning, uh, or supporting, or funding this country? Uh, this is really important that people in America, particularly know what's really happening here they need to be aware where they spend their dollars and where their dollars goes to I most I would say 99% of my friends are Israelis people that have no agenda just normal people and most people here are suffering I wonder many times all these ministries and all these institutions that supposedly get funding to help the people here and where the money is going because people are not getting anything. There's a lot of poverty here, there's a lot of children suffering um, as is yours. Do you want to go home for what do you want to go from here? I want to be able to take a plane tomorrow and go home. So we need to help you. Um, right now they've reduced your ransom payment to around thirty thousand dollars. And keep um, rounds by the day. So and that amount can change every month. Every month that can go, and the interest is very high here. Extremely high. Extremely. It can double in a few I months. I have two lawyers trying to help me that I question what they've been doing. The judges, nothing ruled on the favor of myself. And I have learned that my case is not the worst. That worst people here. There are. We've met many people that are not Israeli uh, citizens who are in a similar position, uh, trapped here with no way out. And also, we also know there's a million Israelis trapped here, by the way. They give a stop exit as hotcakes. Uh, easy to do, yeah? Yeah. Uh, just on the word? They someone? steal your humanity and your human rights in a second. Yedidia, thank you. We're going to get this out to the States. Thank you.